queremos dinero. We don't need money. Únicamente queremos que entiendan que el problema entre Guatemala y Belice quiere mayor atención por parte del gobierno. We only need everybody to see that the problem in the forest of Guatemala and Belize needs more attention by both governments. Necesitamos agencias de gobierno de Belice. We need government agencies in Belize Trabajando junto con nosotros. to work together with us. Porque es lo mejor que pueda pasar para poder conservar este bosque entre Guatemala y Belice. Because that's the best that we can hope for this forest that is between Guatemala and Belize. No hay guerra. There's no war. La guerra está en el territorio. War is in the territory. Es una guerra contra la pobreza. It's a war against poverty. Es una guerra contra el crimen organizado. It's a war against organized crime. Es una guerra contra la miseria. And it's a war against misery. Those are some of the primary forces at work in the Chequebol National Park, which physically joins Belize and Guatemala. Balam has been working in those Guatemalan communities on the border for about 20 months in concert with the FCD. It is a very hands-on approach in which they provide technical and financial assistance in those impoverished communities. We are working in three of these poor communities that are located in the adjacency zone with Belize. Beneficiando a más de 200 families. With more than 200 families being benefited by these programs. Y nuestro mensaje en las comunidades es muy claro. Our message in communities is very clear. No entren a Belice. Do not enter Belize. Belice tiene leyes muy duras. Belize has very strict rules or laws. Nosotros como Guatemala y, y como Balam vamos a ayudar a resolver el, el problema dándoles a ustedes alternativas económicas. We are helping them, giving them financial support. Este comunitario, this person here, entraba a Belice, used to come in Belize para extraer esta hoja, que es el chate. to extract chate. Ahora nosotros ayudamos a los comunitarios a cultivar el chate en Guatemala. Now we are helping them to produce chate in Guatemala. So why is this suddenly happening now? Why the push from Balam, which is a Guatemalan NGO? For many years the government has forgotten these populations, but we believe that this government has um, made a change and that, that they are sincerely working now, and that is why we are working with them. El asunto es que no se puede resolver un problema de 50 años. It cannot be, a 50-year problem cannot be easily solved. Pero estamos en el camino correcto. But we are on the right path. Y estamos pidiendo al gobierno de Guatemala. We are asking the Guatemalan government. Que queremos mucho más apoyo. That we really need more support. Nuestro ministro de Relaciones Exteriores en Guatemala. Our foreign affairs minister. Es el principal impulsor. Is the main supporter para que en su propio gobierno resuelva y ayude a las comunidades pobres de la zona de descenso. For his own government to solve the problems and help the poor communities in the adjacency zone. Both Balam and the FCD recognize that all hands will need to be on deck to solve what is essentially a decades-old problem. The FCD knows firsthand how difficult that is. They have been crying out for assistance for many years. It is really much to our interest in actually to see how in a couple of years, you know, Balam has been able to mobilize a lot of other counterparts and support systems in the southern part of Petén. At this point in time here in Belize, you know, for us, we felt that, you know, either we have to learn more about how they do their policy advocacy for one, or either we are still not really reaching to the right people on how to make the particular changes. Um, I have been, um, as how you will gather over the years, trying to welcome people to go and see the true reality in the chicken bowl. And that has not really happened so much, admittedly. In fact, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Guatemala has been twice into chicken bowl. You know, Carlos Raul Morales has been to chicken bowl twice. And frankly, we have not really have had, it has only been a limited number of high-level personnel that have reached to Chiquibol you know, from the Belizean side. All the rhetoric from government is in place, and every high-level government functionary would tell you immediately how critical the Chiquibol is. 
but rhetoric has not translated into action. We have been speaking about conservation posts over the last over the last three years, and the and the Valent, and the um, and the Sebara CP, for example. You know, we have basically been um, I mean requesting for that, and that still is not up. And that is the area where we knew that if we had basically put that CP since actually last year, you know, we would at least be able to have prevented about 100 hectares, you know, over 200 you know, acres of forest to have actually disappeared from that area for this year. So I think you know, it has to be a joint effort. We basically have been saying that. We as NGOs, we can only do so much, then we do require the support of the regulatory agencies. Únicamente reconocen territorios. The communities only recognize territories. Hemos explicado a las comunidades que hay una, una disputa territorial entre los dos países. We have explained the communities that there is a dispute between both countries. Pero el hecho que las comunidades lo sepan. But the fact that communities know it. Eso no resuelve el problema. Is not solving the issue. El problema que existe en las comunidades. The issue that affects the communities es un problema de pobreza. is a problem, is one of poverty. Ya sea con problemas o diferencias de territorio o con diferencias de territorio, al final, si hay un problema de frontera o no hay un problema de frontera, siempre la pobreza ahí va a estar. Either it is a border issue or not, poverty will always be there. Castellanos maintains that the territorial dispute is irrelevant. What is relevant is poverty and the riches of the Chiquibul so close by and accessible. Mike Rodon for News 5.